Guys, this is dark. It has huge mass, and it's small. That's three smoking guns right there, implicating a supermassive black hole. Space can be scary. The dangers lurking within the vast expanse of space can be terrifying. One part of space that has always been intriguing and terrifying at the same time is black holes. These beasts of power have been the subject of countless research efforts all across the globe. Scientists have been trying to figure out just what black holes really are and what lies within them. But all of that changes now. Neil deGrasse Tyson just revealed something huge. Our black hole is less massive than the one in the center of the Andromeda galaxy, our nearest big galaxy. So, we have black hole envy, don't we? We finally see what's inside a black hole, and it might just blow your mind. So join us as we take you on this intergalactic journey to answer one of history's most asked questions. What is a black hole? The basics of black holes. Black holes are created from a massive explosion. Their mass is concentrated in an incredibly small region, creating a gravitational force so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Once something is in there, it's going to stay in there forever. These forces of energy come in various sizes ranging from stellar black holes, which can be a few times the mass of the sun, to supermassive ones that exist at the centers of galaxies and can have millions or even billions of times the mass of our sun. Scientists have observed the effects of black holes indirectly for decades now, uncovering hundreds of secrets with every piece of data. Although they seem so massive and powerful that they can't possibly have an origin story, they do. Black holes don't just exist in space, they are created. They need the remnants of massive stars that have exhausted their nuclear fuel to be born. Formation of black holes. These stars undergo a supernova explosion, a spectacular event that marks the end of their lives. During a supernova, the outer layers of the star are violently expelled into space, while the core undergoes a gravitational collapse. If the core's mass is several times larger than that of our sun, the force of gravity overwhelms all other forces, causing the core to collapse inward. This collapse compresses the mass into an incredibly small volume, creating an object with a gravitational field so powerful that nothing can escape its grasp, thus creating a black hole. Types and Sizes of Black Holes The size of a black hole is determined by its mass. Stellar black holes, the most commonly known type, have a mass range from a few times to several tens of times that of our sun. At the core of a black hole lies the singularity, a region of infinite density and space-time curvature. According to our current understanding of physics, the laws of nature break down at this point, and our conventional theories cannot fully explain what happens within the singularity. Singularities and quantum gravity to truly understand the nature of singularities, we need to think outside the box. In physics, a singularity refers to a point in space-time where certain quantities become infinite or undefined. These singularities appear in various theoretical contexts, such as at the beginning of an expanding universe, known as the Big Bang Singularity, and within the inside of black holes. Studying the Big Bang Singularity presents a fundamental challenge. According to the theory, the universe originated from an extremely hot and dense state about 13.8 billion years ago. As we rewind time toward this initial state, the equations of general relativity, which govern the behavior of gravity, break down. This breakdown implies that our current understanding of physics cannot fully describe the conditions at the moment of the Big Bang. Resolving this issue requires a theory that combines general relativity with principles of quantum mechanics. Black holes contain singularities at their cores, where the gravitational pull becomes infinitely strong and space-time is highly curved. According to general relativity, matter and energy that fall into a black hole reach its singularity and become infinitely compressed. This concept is beyond our current understanding of physics. The quest for quantum gravity, the challenge of singularities, has motivated scientists to search for a theory of quantum gravity, which aims to unify the principles of general relativity and quantum mechanics. 
Quantum gravity seeks to provide a framework that accounts for the behavior of space-time on both cosmic and subatomic scales. A theory like this could potentially offer insights into the nature of singularities and how the universe really works. One approach to addressing the issue of singularities is the theory of loop quantum gravity. This theory suggests that at extremely small scales, space-time is quantized, meaning it consists of discrete, indivisible units. These fundamental units are often referred to as loops or spin networks. In loop quantum gravity, the concept of quantization is applied to space-time itself. This means that space-time isn't considered a continuous and infinitely divisible entity, but rather a collection of discrete elements. Quantum bounce and stellar black holes. These discrete units of space-time are often seen as interconnected loops or networks representing the underlying structure of the universe's fabric. Within loop quantum gravity, singularities associated with black holes and the Big Bang could be resolved. One key insight of this theory is that at extremely small scales, the discrete nature of space-time prevents the occurrence of infinite densities and curvatures that give rise to singularities in classical general relativity. For example, in the context of black holes, loop quantum gravity suggests that as matter collapses toward the core, the space-time fabric becomes increasingly tiny. This size prevents the matter from reaching an infinitely dense singularity. Instead, the collapsing matter encounters a quantum bounce near the core, where it rebounds and begins to expand again. This scenario leads to the formation of a new space-time region inside the black hole, often referred to as a quantum black hole or a bounce region. The formation of supermassive black holes remains an active area of research and is still not fully understood. Nevertheless, many theories have been proposed to explain their origins. One prominent hypothesis suggests that supermassive black holes evolve from smaller black holes through a process called accretion. According to this idea, as matter such as gas, dust, and stars accumulate around a black hole, it forms a swirling disk known as an accretion disk. The black hole's immense gravitational pull draws material from this disk, causing it to spiral inward and merge with the black hole. Over vast periods, this continuous accretion of matter allows the black hole to grow to a supermassive scale. Charged black holes. Moving away from the more common types, we encounter charged black holes, a fascinating variation characterized by the presence of an electric charge. There are two main types of charged black holes, Reissner-Nordstrom black holes and Kerr-Newman black holes. Each type exhibits distinct properties formed from the relationship between the black hole's charge and other factors, such as rotation. Reissner Nordstrom black holes are charged but non rotating. They are described by the Reissner Nordstrom solution in the framework of general relativity. The charge of these black holes affects the behavior of their gravitational field. However, in terms of their overall structure, Reissner Nordstrom black holes are similar to uncharged black holes. They possess an event horizon, but the size of the event horizon for a Reissner Nordstrom black hole depends on both its mass and electric charge. On the other hand, Kerr Newman black holes are charged and rotating. They are described by the Kerr Newman solution in general relativity. The combination of electric charge and rotation introduces unique phenomena. One notable effect is called frame dragging which occurs because the rotating black hole drags and twists the surrounding space-time. Kerr-Newman black holes have both an event horizon and an inner region known as the Cauchy horizon, an inner boundary within the black hole separating the exterior region from where the singularity is located. First observations of black holes. Charged black holes create a repulsive electrostatic force in addition to the gravitational force. This electrostatic force can impact the behavior of particles and matter near the black hole. For example, charged particles may experience repulsion from a black hole's electric charge, affecting their trajectories and dynamics. While charged black holes are a theoretical possibility, they are not widely expected to exist in nature. Most black holes are formed from astrophysical processes that result in neutral objects, meaning they lack a net electric charge. If a black hole were to accumulate a significant electric charge, 
it would likely neutralize over time by attracting oppositely charged particles from its surroundings. Black holes offer a glimpse into the fundamental forces that shape the cosmos, from their gravitational influence on surrounding matter to the mind-bending phenomena near their event horizons. While their true nature may still hold secrets waiting to be uncovered, our ongoing exploration and advancements in observational techniques continue to bring us closer to unlocking the mysteries of black holes. Join us in the next episode of our journey through space as we delve deeper into the unknown and explore the wonders that lie beyond the event horizon.